In our last video, we went over the basics of ratios. We talked about what ratios are, how they're written, some examples, and how they're used in everyday life. If you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link in the description. Go check it out. So now that you have an understanding of what a ratio is, we're going to talk about the next step in understanding ratios, which is simplifying them. Simplifying a ratio means reducing the ratio down to its smallest, simplest terms. Sometimes ratios can be big numbers and hard to work with, especially if you're going to start doing things like adding, subtracting, dividing, or multiplying ratios. Now, before we start, we need to go over one thing that's very important in simplifying ratios, and that is factors. A factor is a number that divides into another number exactly without having any remainder. You can also think about it as this. What numbers multiplied together equal a given number? Let's look at the factors of 6. What numbers can be multiplied together to come up with an answer of 6? Or, what numbers can be divided into 6 without a remainder? The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. We know this because 1 times 6 is 6, and 2 times 3 is 6. You could divide the number 6 by any one of these numbers and get an answer without a remainder. Another quick example of a factor. What are the factors of 16? Well, we know 1 times 16 is 16, 2 times 8 is 16, and 4 times 4 is 16. So the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. If you want more information on how to find factors, I'll put a link in the description below on my video on how to find factors in the greatest common factor. Now we can get back to simplifying ratios. Let's start with a simple example. Remember, ratios indicate a comparison of something. So let's start with three lemons and six limes. We would write the ratio of lemons to limes as three to six, three to six, or three to six. When it comes to simplifying ratios, it really doesn't matter which one of these ways that you write it. They can all be simplified using the same method. So pick the one that makes the most sense to you. Simplifying ratios can be done in three steps. Those steps are, step one, find the factors of the numbers in the ratio. Step two, find the greatest common factor. Step three, divide the numbers in the ratio by the greatest common factor. Let's get back to our example with lemons and limes. Step one, find the factors of the numbers in our ratio. We need to find the factors of three and six. The factors of three are one and three. The factors of six are one, two, three, and six. Step two, find the greatest common factor. This is sometimes also called the greatest common divisor. Whatever you want to call it, we're looking for the largest factor that is present in both of our numbers in the ratio, 3 and 6. Our greatest common factor in our example is going to be 3. 3 is a factor of 3, and 3 is a factor of 6. Step 3. Divide the numbers in our ratio by the greatest common factor. 3 goes into 3 one time, and 3 goes into 6 two times. By dividing both numbers by 3, we now have simplified our ratio to be 1 to 2. So by looking at it visually, 3 lemons to 6 limes is the same thing as saying for every 1 lemon there are 2 limes. Let's look at another example, but this time let's make the numbers a little bigger. The ratio is 12 to 54. Step 1. Find the factors of both 12 and 54. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The factors of 54 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54. Step 2. Divide both sides of the ratio by the greatest common factor. We can see that both 12 and 54 have 6 as being the largest or greatest common factor. Step 3. Divide both numbers in our ratio by the greatest common factor. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. 54 divided by 6 equals 9. Our simplified ratio is now 2 to 9. 
But what if you had an example like 1,250 to 3,750? These numbers are really large and likely to be difficult to factor in your head. I'll show you a little trick on how you can reduce the numbers down to a point that's a little bit more manageable. Both numbers end in zero, which means they're both divisible by 10. So let's divide 10 into both numbers and see what we get. 1,250 divided by 10 equals 125. 3,750 divided by 10 equals 375. Looking at both of these numbers, it appears they could also be, also be divisible by 25. So let's divide them by 25. 125 divided by 25 equals 5. 375 divided by 25 equals 15. We have now simplified the ratio down a lot since our original ratio. But if you look at the ratio that is still left now, you can see we may be able to reduce it even further. We can see that 5 is a factor of both 5 and 15. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. This ratio can now be stated as 1 to 3. You can use this method when numbers are really large. As long as you're dividing both numbers by the same amount, you can repeat this process until the numbers get down small enough to where you can use normal factors to figure it out. So that's it. That's simplifying ratios. If this video was helpful, click the like button, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can see more videos to help you improve your math. See ya!